Hi, this is Shubham from Mone Studio, and today in this podcast, we're gonna discuss about a portfolio management. What is the meaning of portfolio management? What are the different objectives and various portfolio management strategy? But before starting this podcast, if you want to read the full article about this, and the link of article is provided in description. Also, if you want to watch a quick summary video of less than 90 seconds, then subscribe to our YouTube channel Mone Studio. Now let's start a podcast by a simple question: What is a portfolio management? Portfolio management is the art and science of selecting and overseeing a group of investment that meet the long-term financial objectives and risk tolerance of a client, company, or institution. Basically, it's a management of a pool of security available for a client, company, or institution. Now, discuss what are the different objectives of a portfolio management. The first objective is security of a principal investment. Portfolio management is not only only in what keeping the investment intact but also to contribute towards the growth of its purchasing power over the period the motive of a financial portfolio management is to ensure that the investment is absolutely safe the second objective is consistency of a return portfolio management also ensure to provide the stability of a returns by reinvesting the asked may on returns in profitable and good portfolio for the stability of income the third objective is a risk reduction portfolio management is a purposely designed to reduce the risk of loss of capital and or income by investing in a different types of a security available in a wide range of a security the investor shall aware of the fact that there is a no such thing as a zero risk of investment and diversification is a key the fourth objective is a capital go go portfolio management guarantee the growth of a capital by reinvesting in a growth security or by purchase of a growth securities the fifth objective is a liquidity portfolio management is planned in a such a way that it facilitate to take a maximum advantage of a various good opportunities upcoming in the market the portfolio should always ensure that there is an enough funds available at short notice to take care of investors liquidity requirement the sixth is a marketability portfolio management ensure that the flexibility to the investment portfolio a portfolio consists of a such investment which can be a marketed and traded the seventh is a favorable tax treatment portfolio management is a plan in such a way to increase the effective yield an investor get from his surplus invested funds by minimizing the tax burden yield can be effectively improved now let discuss different portfolio management strategies the first one is an active portfolio management strategy the active portfolio management relies on the fact that the particular style of analysis or management can generate a return that can beat the market it involves higher than average cost and stress is on taking advantage of market effectiveness the active management approach of a portfolio management involves following two styles the first one is a top down approach in this approach the manager observes the markets as a whole and decide about the industry and sector that are expected to perform well in an ongoing economic cycle after the decision is made on the sector the specific stocks is selected on the basis of a company that are expected to perform well in a particular sector the second style is a bottom up approach in this approach the market condition and expected trends are ignored and the evaluation of a company are based on the strength of their product pipeline financial statement or any other criteria it's is the fact that strong companies perform well irrespective of the prevailing markets or economic conditions the second management for portfolio strategy is passive portfolio management strategy passive asset management relies on the fact that the markets are efficient and it is not possible to beat the markets return regularly over time and best returns are obtained from the lower cost investment kept for the longer period of time over here also two styles are there the first one is the efficient market theory this theory relies on the fact that information that affects the markets is immediately available and a process by all investor that such information is always considered in evaluating the market price the portfolio management who follows this theory firmly believe that market averages cannot be beaten consistently the second one is indexing according to this theory the index funds are used for taking the advantage of efficient market 
theory and for creating a portfolio that implicates the specific index the index funds can offer benefit over the actively managed fund because they have a lower than the average expense ratio and transaction cost the next strategy is a patient portfolio this type of portfolio involves making an investment in well known stock the investor buy and hold stock for a longer period in this portfolio the majority of a stock represent company that have a classic growth and those expected to generate a higher earning on regular basis irrespective of a financial condition the next strategy is a aggressive portfolio this type of a portfolio involves making investment in expensive stock that provides a good return and big reward along with a carrying risk this portfolio is a collection of a stock companies of a different size that rapidly growing and expected to generate rapid annual earning growth over next few years the last strategy is a conservative portfolio this type of portfolio involve collection of a stock after carefully observing the markets earning growth and consistent dividend history now let's discuss what is a bottom line over here portfolio management involve building and overseeing a selection of an investment that can meet the long term financial goals and risk tolerance of an investor to portfolio management requires strategically buying and selling stock and other assets in an effort to beat the broad market a passive portfolio management seeks to a map the return of a market by mimicking the makeup of a particular index or indexes so thank you guys for joining with us for this podcast if you want to read the full article about this in the link of article is provided in description also if you want to watch a quick summary video of less than 90 seconds then subscribe to our youtube channel monist view over here shubham from monist view signing off